Hi folks, I thought I'd just do a very short one on this. Um, sometime last year I bought this isolation transformer and this Variac, which gives me an isolated high voltage supply for safer working when I'm bucking about with the way it mains, and the ability to choose any voltage I want coming out of that. So, just a quick demo, there we are. We've got a 240 volt light running on about 100 volts, and it's uh, reasonably safe in that I have to touch both wires to electrocute myself rather than just any single thing. Um, anyway, all well and good that it's electrically safe, but uh, having these screw terminals on the top and bare wires dangling around never struck me as the best solution, so I wanted to make an enclosure for this tri transformer and probably a new front panel for this to replace this shonky thing. Show you what I've been up to. So I picked up a couple of these cheap panel meters off eBay. This one's measuring the input voltage from the mains. This is what's coming out of the transformer. And I figured if I combined them with the switched IEC socket that I scavenged off something out of the garage and this uh, IEC outlet socket that I scavenged off an old PC power supply all I need then is a container to hold it all in. So I've been busy with my 3D printer. So following much the same process I did for my cycle timers I first of all made this just a template to make sure I'd got the feet in the correct position on the transformer and on this particular template, oh, you can't see, on this particular template I'd measured things just slightly wrong and I was about a millimeter out. So we went on to version 2, which uh, fits beautifully. There we go, lovely fit. So then I, I did a bit of design work and I left overnight this one printing of a kind of ventilated basket to hold it all. But, um, the fill spacing on this was too great so it hasn't done a very even surface on that but after 41 hours the one I've been printing has just finished so let's have a look so here we go the absolute by far biggest thing I have ever attempted to 3D print just finished so we've just finished I printed this with no fill whatsoever, but I did design fill into certain areas where I wanted to preserve the details. So on all of these cutouts at the top here, I wanted to preserve, I don't know if it'll show up on the camera, but there's a lip here where the panel meter's going to sit inside. So I was trying to keep that looking good, and it's generally worked out quite nicely. A bit of damage on that lip. Um, slightly different approach for this one, just because this very fine mesh slowed down the 3D design software so much. So I went with a bigger mesh on that side and round here where we're not actually filling in a gap at all and we've got screw holes for mounting that. And just an area I can slice out with a knife. So I'm going to cut that to pieces now and um, see how it turns out. But I'm very pleased with that. I mean that's absolutely colossal. Uh, to give you some idea of scale, here's one of the cycle timer enclosures which was formerly the biggest thing I've printed. So we're Oh, about eight times the size of that, and that took 41 hours altogether to print out. Anyway, I'm going to put some parts in it and see how it looks. Okay, well this one's far more difficult than the other ones were. It's coming. Just give me some time to work at it. Well, even if I do say so myself, I'm really rather pleased with the way that's looking. I mean, that's absolutely spot on, perfect fit. Every part, first time, that's going to have screws to hold it in, so don't worry about that being loose. But, yeah. Um, Excellent, I just need to design a lid now. Well, it's 11 hours later, but I've got a lid now with a handle. And another four hours later, I have the final bit that I need, some little Ninja Flex rubber feet to go on the bottom of it all. So now I can screw it all together. Okay, so I've got my Ninja Flex feet on the bottom now, and they, in turn, 
hold the transformer down on some little nuts and washers down at the bottom. Don't know if you can see that. And I've wired everything together. So power comes on, and we get our input voltage and output voltage. And the lid will screw on in just a moment, and my power comes out of there. So hope you enjoyed that. Just a quick show and tell, really. Um, if anyone wants the design for this, I know of at least one person who's got the same isolation transformer as me and a 3D printer. Just let me know down in the comments and I'll um, send you all the files. Right, cheers folks. See you next time. Bye.